Hello guys, one of my subscribers, shout out to Shane D, asked if I could show the mall. So I picked the biggest mall in Saigon. So let's take a look around. We just passed the food court back there. This mall is so big, I'm not gonna be able to walk the whole thing. I sure hope this mic is loud enough to pick me up. We've got a makeup store here. The parking lot led me to believe it was very crowded, but it's actually not so bad in here. I think we're in the girly cosmetic section. Let's go upstairs. Body shop, looks like a bed, bath, and beyond. Watches. Maybe slow down a little bit. Walk so fast. Nice little food area here. Huh? Video of the logo, Ion. I think it's pronounced Aon. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's go right here. Basics. I like a Nike brand. Right here. That's a Christmas spirit going on in here. If you guys are new to my channel, I do a variety of different videos. This one I'm just gonna walk around and show things and do some blathering on. I know I'm not very interesting sometimes, but it helped me out a lot if you guys hit subscribe for me. Give me a little bit of encouragement and I'll keep making these videos. Okay, let's keep looking. pulling my arm wants me to come over here and show the train <laughs> the cup cup cake express like I said I think this is the biggest mall in Saigon this is the biggest one I've walked into not as busy as I thought it would be Outside, it was hard to find bike parking. From inside, and it's very slow. 20 again. I wish I could be 20 again. Clothing stores. Perfume. My girlfriend's always trying to make me wear perfume. She doesn't understand the difference between perfume and cologne. Nice little view over. Not that packed. What's today? The 20th. Ah, oh, yeah, the 20th. Today's my birthday. So five days before Christmas. I came through here on Black Friday or around that time, and it was really packed. Wish I would have brought my camera then. The girls like to take their. Instagram and TikTok pics. And they're in a nice fancy place like this. Before they go back to their house with all their family members. Looks like a nice close store right there. It's like Vietin. Where I would buy clothes for work. area over here another men's clothing store pretty nice the shopping malls here are, at least this one are, are they are a lot like they are back home slightly different brands but the prices are about the same you can come to Vietnam and save money but if you want to shop in a big mall like this, you're going to pay the same price as the USA. And there's a little bit of a danger here too when you shop. 
you don't always know that the clothes that you're buying are from the brand that you're buying. I mean, in all likelihood, they probably are if they're in a shopping mall like this. But you never know. I bought some Skechers at a mall near my house. And I wasn't sure they were real Skechers. They're expensive. They're 60 or $70 just for black, thin tennis shoes. But the stitching was good. I'm actually wearing them right now. I haven't left for quite a while. But you never know. Always check the clothing and shoes carefully when you buy stuff in Vietnam or any Asian countries. They don't have the same laws like we do in the West. The copyright laws. There's this place in uh, District 1 where they sell DVDs. I don't know how well their business is doing with all the streaming going on, but they're clearly bootleg DVDs where they just take DVDs and put them into the DVD player and copy them or the DVD ROM. So definitely not the same copyright laws. Speaking of Skechers, the Skechers store. In America, you can never do that. You can't blatantly copy DVDs and sell them in a, in a store. It's not even a little guy on the side of the road selling it. It's an actual store in District 1. All bootleg DVDs. Crazy. Oh, these are the traditional Vietnamese footwear right here. This is what all the Vietnamese men and women wear look like to be in the girl style on sale for 69,000 that's half off normally you can go to some of the markets outside the mall and buy these for about 25 or 30,000 these really basic ones like this uh, about sticker, many sticker. I wonder if those would fall off oh, this one's very loose <laughs> Has a real strong plastic smell in here. Oh yeah, different little stickers you can put on. Custom design, traditional Vietnamese footwear. Let's keep walking. Oh, you know what? Let's go upstairs and I want to show the viewers the arcades. Every mall has an arcade. You go in and buy cook tokens, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese. You take your kids in there. And you win tickets and you turn them in and get little prizes. Fahasa. That's a bookstore. It's all over Saigon. Most big shopping centers will have a Fahasa. It actually has an English section too. So if you are a reader, you can come to Vietnam and buy books in English. It's a camping store here in Saigon. We're in the concrete jungle and they're selling camping supplies. I'm not even sure my bare feet have touched ground in over a year. Any of you guys remember laser tag? I'm 38 years old, so I grew up in the 90s. One of the favorite things that I used to do as a kid is me and my friends, we go to QZAR and play laser tag. I wonder if that's still a thing. If you guys, if you guys ever played laser tag before, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Let me know your ages too. You two are supposed to show me the demographic of, or at least the age of the people that watch my videos, but it doesn't. So, it'd be interesting to know. So just like Chuck E. Cheese, you buy tokens, you play the little games and you win the prizes, and you turn them in for stuffed animals or cheap little plastic toys. A tiny store. It's the same kind of stuff you guys would see I don't know, I want to say Denial's Roseville Auction because I'm from California. All the Chinese made plastic toys. And the little cap guns you get for $1.99. Half the caps wouldn't even work. The Rabbity Kid Store. Cute little Christmas tree. I think we're on the kids section here. So let's go across here and see what they have here. Medicare. You guys apply for Medicare this year? How was the name of that store in the States? Something Stone. 
can't remember. They would sell massage chairs like that. My girlfriend, say hi. She's so cute. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, any places of Saigon, at least, you guys want to see, I can get those out pretty quick. Anything further than Saigon might take me a little bit. I'm definitely open to requests and criticisms. Go check out Lock and Lock. I wonder when Lock and Lock sells. I wonder if they sell locks. Definitely get a kind of a houseware vibe here. Pots and pans. Look at that. But I don't think this is a lock store. Some towels over there. Lug. Luggage. I remember I said I was 38 years old, so I grew up in the late 80s and all of the 90s. So I always went to the arcade. I remember my biggest achievement was I was able to beat the Simpsons game and three dollars and 25 cents something like that these games are crazy it's like the casinos in vegas we got one more level let's go up one more level and we'll show the top floor over there it says food terrace i guess it's the same as food court 30,000 down karaoke. Record yourself singing for just over a dollar. Yeah, let's go up. Let's go to the highest floor. This really is one of the biggest malls I've seen in Saigon. California fitness and yoga. Does anybody actually go to a mall like this and then go to the top floor to go to their gym? Who does this? Apparently some people do. Not very many. No, there actually are some people in there working out. That is crazy. Like every mall in America, this one also has a movie theater. Let's see what movies are playing. Unlike America, it doesn't really say what movies are playing up here. How do you say that? Yeah, how do you say it? Sak Song San Moi. Maybe a zombie movie? What are all these people doing? Train to Busan and the Peninsula. Okay. I'm also not seeing that many of the teenagers hanging out like when I was a kid. We used to always go to the mall with our skateboards and our chains, smoking our cigarettes causing a ruckus. I think the food courts in the malls here in Vietnam are much nicer than the food courts in America. Tempura looks like a Japanese style environment or style of food. I know I say stupid stuff sometimes. If you guys want to make fun of me in the comments, it's okay, I don't mind. I make fun of myself all the time. Let's flip it back around. More Japanese sushi. I don't know, maybe let's wrap it up here. You went here before? That they have a hot pot in the middle of the table. So check that out. This is a very popular in a lot of restaurants here. They have a this is an induction heater in the middle of the table where you can actually cook yeah. your food right in front of you as you eat. Someday I'll go out and do that again. That these tables have it too. Maybe I'll film it and show you guys. The pizza company. The rich man's pizza hut. 
probably the closest you'll get to Papa John's. Papa John's is my favorite. You won't gotta get pizza close to that. I think the pizza company is a good alternative. Let's see what it looks like straight down. That's as high as it goes, guys. It goes one more floor up there, but it kind of goes in the darkness. I don't think anything is up there. So yeah, we're about 22 minutes in. I think that's a pretty long video. If I miss anything, let me know. If you like my video, hit the like button. If you want to give me some encouragement for more videos like this, hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments any more things you guys would like me to show you. And I will happily go and film them just for you. Shout out to Shane D for giving me this idea. For the mall video, take care and stay awesome.